Hey guys, I'm Stone W. We're going to do a quick DIY and how to to replace a dead battery in your cordless phone. Now, typically when you buy a cordless phone like this VTech HD Audio one, it comes with like your two handsets or three handsets. And to order new batteries for it, you basically just search online. But anyways, we had three handsets. Only one had a bad battery and we owned this thing for over five years. So this is more of a long term review. We had no problems with this thing. Great audio quality, everything else like that. But it's already been about five years and one of the batteries are going bad. I assume that the other two are going to go bad pretty soon. Check the other two. They look fine. And it's only the one that had one bad battery. So to basically open this thing up to get a spare, to order a new battery and battery number, you could just search against the model number of this VTech unit. So I'm going to go ahead and order it. You might want to check when you get the battery when the manufacture date is. And of course, looking at this to open up in the back. Yeah, you go ahead and just slide the battery case over. As you can see, this says no battery, not low battery. This says no battery because the voltage is way too low for it and it doesn't see the battery anymore. So you go ahead and take out this battery. And as you can see, there's a model number on there. So you could basically search on your cordless uh, phone and check the model number and search against for a correct battery for yours. So this one was a battery specific for this VTech model. So I'm gonna go ahead and ordered it and it was basically a three pack so you could replace all three handsets and go ahead and pull that little um, connection off and as you can see it's color coded red and black so just want to double check you have the same color coding on your new battery which it should be fine you also check the capacity of these batteries too sometimes the newer batteries have a little bit more capacity uh, than the older technology ones but seeing that this is five years old doesn't really matter too much but looking at the connections it looks like the plugs and connectors are virtually the same and I'm gonna go ahead and match the red and black and slide it in so just making sure you have to have little if you can't use your fingers to do this which is pretty you also use a pair of pliers or tweezers but fingers work very well because it's not really that hard to do to put this back in you have to make sure you fold the wires in correctly you don't want to break any of the wires or um, fold it at a very hard angle. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, slowly twist a little bit so that it could fold correctly with a little small twist. So nothing bends too much or abruptly. And also that the back end of that battery is flush against the back of the phone. So it's nice and flush and it could close again. Looking on the other side, it looks like it's powering up, but it has barely any power. So we'll go ahead and put the cover back on and put this back on the charger base so that it could charge up. So that's really about it. Now that's part of it. And we're going to see that it's low battery. It's blinking and we're going to put this on the chargers. But overall, that's about it. I hope you found this useful. There are two extra batteries. And of course your old battery, make sure you bring it to the hardware store where you can actually recycle it in your, according to your local, you know, recycling laws for these nickel metal hydride batteries. But yeah, this is pretty much that's it. It's that simple. And the batteries are very, very, inexpensive so it says low battery no line which is perfectly fine after charging it it was you know in the base it's gonna charge up and it should be cool if you found this video useful of course you know i hope this video was useful and you know this is still w thanks a lot for watching